What's up neighbors? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time. I'm Antoinette, the girl next door. Some people call me Antoinette, some people call me Nat, or some people call me Tony. You can call me whichever name you like. And I am back with another video. Well, I am a licensed mental health counselor in the state of Florida and a licensed professional counselor in the state of Georgia. And on my channel, we focus on lifestyle, wellness, and personal development. So as you can see by today's side, but today I'm going to be showing you guys um, some of my luxury items. So this is a luxury a haul. These are luxury items that I have purchased um, within like the last seven months. So um, last year, I'll just say last year, but really like the last six or seven months. So if you're interested in seeing my luxury items, go ahead and stay tuned. Before we move forward, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Um, before we get started with me showing you some of these items, I do want to put this disclaimer out, out because I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do this video for a couple reasons. Um, one, because the whole black girl luxury thing I feel like is very controversial um, with like you know what is black girl luxury what does that look like um, especially you know on TikTok with the whole black girl luxury and aesthetic thing like it's it's just I feel like it's just very controversial and so for me I never want to come off as bragging but these are items that I'm just so blessed and so excited to have that I'm like I just want to show you guys what I got um, just like a kid who get a toy for Christmas like look oh, you know they're so excited so for me I just want to say this is nothing to do with bragging um, uh, these are just items that that I purchased that I hate that I have to put that disclaimer out there because you know we should normalize black luxury and black women lives but I just want to say that that just was important for me to say that this is no way bragging this is just showing you guys I would guess trending items but items that I have splurged on so let's just go ahead and get right to it and get into the first product so i'm going to show you guys the very first product um because this is my most recent product as in like i just got these this product so this is by the brand fendi and as you guys can guess what do you guys think it is yes that's what it is it's earrings so you open the box and so i have some earrings now let me show you guys the earrings now when i purchased these hoops these were not initially the gold hoops i was going for or the hoops i was going for but when i saw these i was like no no ma'am i changed my mind so here are the first item that i got i feel like the camera is not doing um, any justice so let's see if i hold one up so yes that's better so i got these fendi hoops they are so bomb with the diamonds all in them they are just so bomb and they're so cute and they're so small um i've seen these earrings um trending like i said they have a very basic um silver or gold or um, rose gold pair and that was what i was going for but when i saw these i'm like i have to get these and these were original price 450 and i think with taxes i paid maybe like 480 and they're just so beautiful they're just like gonna be i want a everyday pair of small hoops but you know now that i look at them i don't think these will be everyday wear even though i can wear them every day i wanted a small um high-end hoop and um it was a smaller louis ones or like this size that i didn't get so i went and opt for the fendi ones and so i can trying to decide if i'm gonna wear it all day i mean that's all day if i'm gonna wear it every day but as you can see it's gold it has gold um around the rim and it's just a diamond so these are so cute i feel like these are gonna be in style forever fendi is like to me is like an old rich white woman <laughs> you know brand um and so fendi is always i said it to say gonna always be in style so um i'm happy with this purchase because i feel like i'm gonna definitely wear this and on the back of it i don't know if you guys can see but it says fendi so anyway yeah so this is my first item that I love, love, love. You guys will be seeing me do a video with having those in my ear. Um, like I said, the diamonds are just super cute and I feel like I'm gonna look super fly. So yeah, my next item is also a Fendi item and this is still in the bag because I literally just got this today. So when you guys watch this video, I got this, I got them before you watch this video. Um, so my next item I got from the outlet and you guys, I guess, guess you guys can probably guess what it is um sunglasses so 
And let me tell you, I have a love-hate relationship with sunglasses. I live in Florida, so it's like sunglasses are a must. But I'll be honest, like, I feel like girls, you don't really have to splurge on, you know, sunglasses because you can get dupes. But, you know, I try to tell myself, it's okay to have high-end sunglasses. Now, listen, I would never spend four, five, six hundred dollars on glasses for myself. These sunglasses, I actually got them on sale for $223. These Fendi glasses, y'all let me show you guys oh my god these Fendi glasses these are like aviator type of glasses and um oh oh you see the Fendi I love that the Fendi logo is in the frame and when you put them on you can't see the like you can see so you don't like see lines in Fendi the logo actually in the frame but I love that the Fendi logo is all in the frame I think these are so hot and for $220 like I said these came from the outlet here in Miami the sawgrass outlet so you know with outlet you get things that are like either out of season and they just want to get them off the rack in the regular stores and so yeah so anyway to finish on you guys if you guys can see it says Fendi right there on top of the glasses so these are just lux okay like these are lux so to have a bomb pair of Fendi glasses for this affordable, very detailed. I would say that they're very detailed. You know they Fendi. That's why I like them. As soon as you put them on, pop them on, you'll know they Fendi just by the, you know, the, the, the glass part. So this was one of my newer purchases for the summer, but your girl gonna be wearing them all year round because I live in Florida. So next item is from the brand Louis Vuitton and these bad boys it was a gift um and these were yeah these were a gift so it comes in this pouch as you guys can see they are air rings so let me show you guys i know you guys have probably seen everybody in their mom with these hoops uh from the louis store and i've also seen like the fake pair but i got these for my birthday um last year in september and so i love these you guys may have seen me wear these in some videos i wear these obviously this is not an everyday earring for me it's not i wear them like when i'm going out shoot content or when i'm going out um these i can't say they're a little heavier they are a little heavier but not like too heavy to the point you'll be like oh my gosh but they are a little heavier however these right here um I think that they are just timeless a lot of the pieces I feel like I got are like timeless pieces and I think that that's what's important so they're timeless and very trendy and stylish and I really feel like you can dress these up and down and um, that's when I when I splurge on like jewelry um, and you know shoes and stuff I want something that I can dress up and dress down and these gold hoops are to die for and you can do both so that's the third my next item is also from the brand Louis Vuitton and here's another small pouch so as you guys can guess yes these are more earrings um when I show you guys these these are to die for oh my god let me show you so these are some louis studs and they are the diamond uh, louis studs i didn't tell you the gold hoops were about 700 um in terms of price these right here these little babies are oh gosh this is not doing it justice as you guys can see these small um studs what they're silver they have a silver and gold pair and these were hard to find hard the, so they have a silver and gold pair they have um the silver and gold without the diamonds and they have the silver and gold with the diamonds so these were hard to find i just happened to just lucked up i feel like i was online one day and boom they were right there so y'all these are beautiful ah the the video is not doing it any justice i just want you guys to see it bling um again timeless piece this right here you can dress up and dress down am i gonna wear these to work uh, i don't know because i don't want to be like a show off um but it is something i feel like you can go to work in 
so I will wear the work. Let me say that because black women, we need to stop trying to like, you know, dumb ourselves down or say like, I don't want to do this because I don't want people to feel a certain way when it's like, listen, you purchased these for a reason. You worked hard for them. Duh, you wear them. Okay, so I will probably wear them to work, um, but I don't want to wear them too often because I don't want diamonds or anything like that to fall out of them. So this is beautiful. These were about four seventy-five. I'll put it on the screen, but they were about four seventy-five and worth every penny. I'm so happy that I was able to land these because I feel like everybody don't got those. I feel like everybody got those gold hoops, but they don't have these. I'm gonna wear these studs when I like have my hair back, like it's some cornrows or something. So, or like a ponytail, just all my hair pulled back so you can actually like see my face and see the earrings. So yeah. Then my next product, obviously, is another Louis product. So obviously, y'all know Louis. Ooh, I forgot something. Louis got all my coins, okay, in the last couple of months. So right here, this was not supposed to be purchased, but I got it. I got it. As you guys can see, no, it's not jewelry. This right here um, is another accessory. It's just not jewelry. This is a belt. I have my first Louis belt okay and she is pretty and this is a very very classic classy belt I don't have the one with the XL right there or the LX um I wish I did no I said LX LV um I wish I did but I feel like this is a more classy I feel like I can dress this up and dress this down it's something I feel comfortable wearing to work without it being too flashy and I feel like it just gives grown women is given it's giving grown women it's giving grown women so um this belt was probably in the four four fifty three fifty um range maybe like three fifty none of these things have prices on them let me see I just have prices no this doesn't have a price so um you guys see, see it pop up so they also had one that was reversible but like i said this is my first louis belt so i just felt like when it comes to like jewelry and accessories and clothing like you want to start off with the basics and then work yourself work your way up to like the extra extra type of pieces you know um because like i said i feel like you know, it's always good to have like a, a everyday type of piece, um, if that makes sense. So I feel like that this belt is actually an everyday belt. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing this to work. Oh, here's the receipt. I'll tell you guys now. See, I keep my receipts. Um, it was 420 with total four. I said with total with tax. It was 449. So there is that in terms of that. I have another item another luxury item that i purchased was this passport holder um i had to go up and get it because i just used this because i just came back from um mexico now with this i love this i love it i love it you guys can see the inside think about this passport um i don't know the thing about it so i got myself one of the way one i've always wanted a louis passport and these were hard to, hard to find too but after i got it i was like this was actually not necessary at all but i just feel like it's nice to have it just look it just feels so like when i'm going like to another country i have my louis passport but no seriously i think also that the good part about this purchase is you guys can see they have a lot of compartments in here that you can store money and your card so you really don't need to bring a wallet with you so i would say you know it kind of was a good purchase but it wasn't really necessary if that makes sense so i love louis um passports they have this they have the the classic it's just very classic too that's what i think it's a very very classic it's not much to say about it but size is very classic it was kind of hard to find a lot of the items that i got except for the fendi the little all the louis items that were very hard to find um because louis just sells out quickly louis is just the brand that you know everybody loves them louis so yeah this is the next luxe item that i purchased this is maybe like 325 350 around that price range 
pretty expensive however it's versatile like I said because you can use this as a wallet um, as, uh, as well as your passport holder so yeah the next item I got um, I got these back in like December the by the brand Alexander McQueen and of course I had to get the hood shoes you know people in the hood love them from Alexander McQueen so I'm so excited about these I've never worn these these are pink patent leather Alexander McQueen y'all you guys can see Alan McQueen, Alexander McQueen on the back and um, this is just a chunky um, popular shoe everybody wear and it's just so cute and y'all I got these on sale I'm talking about like maybe like 250 300 type sale and I got these when I was in Chicago and I'm so happy I just feel like this is like the cutest shoe ever super girly I can't wait to style these I don't know where I'm gonna style them or where I'm going to wear them but I just know they're gonna be worn um they actually are really comfortable too very comfortable so I'm excited that I got these Alexander McQueen's um I was uncertain first because they are patent leather but I feel like you know um Alexander McQueen actually could be a shoe you dress up and dress down and I feel like it can actually be an everyday shoe but um not this color and not this texture you know maybe like if you got like the basic all black leather or all white um leather you'll be good to go but I just feel like that these were so I was so deserving of these and one of the main reasons I got them is because they were on sale because if they were not on sale honestly I probably would have never had a pair of Alexander McQueen so um and to be honest like I'm a shoe girl like I'm starting to build my jewelry collection up so I just feel like you know a girl a pretty girl the it girl you accessories is just the thing like accessories is what you need to kind of put your look together and it would just always like make you look very feminine so um and that's why i'm starting to invest in more um a jewelry however i ain't gonna give up on my shoes either so i would say you can find these also on essence so if you ever go on essence the website they have like sales periodically throughout the year and you can definitely find some alexander mcqueen's for like three hundred dollars maybe four um, but definitely like 353 to 350 you can find some Alexander McQueen's on sale so if you guys are looking you know definitely they fit realm true to size too I wanted to say that too so these fit true to size I got an eight and a half um, in these and like I said they were super comfortable when I tried them on this next item as you guys can see is MCM and this is my fanny pack y'all so i got this mcm panty pack because i have some mcm slipper slide things and so i'm like oh i'm gonna wear those to the airport so i'm like i gotta have a mcm fanny pack i'll be honest like i love a fanny pack i love me a fanny pack um i have like a few fanny packs very cheap five ten dollar ones i find because i just love them i feel like they are very convenient especially if you don't want to perhaps like a strap on your shoulder or you don't feel like carrying a, um, a tote type of bag um, or a purse you could never go wrong with a fanny pack and I just felt like you know a designer fanny pack it really just give you that edge as well like I feel like I got that edge with getting this so I got this I ordered this from Nordstrom and um, I do not remember how much this costs I'll put it in the screen somewhere but um, maybe like six maybe like maybe like 600 and it took i debated back and forth with whether or not i would get it because of the price but i felt like you know you get what you invest in this is leather and so it's gonna have some longevity and not only is it leather it's timeless um in this big they have a smaller version i think or is this a smaller version i don't know but it's big like when i used this to went to mexico i carried this um and i put my passport in there and you know my phone my keys my important stuff and i felt good to go so i definitely feel like a fanny pack is not a need but it is a, a good investment so yeah you know, last but not least i did not go in any order okay uh, I really truly feel like I saved the best for last because um, this out of all the items I got is my most expensive gift. Okay, let me just go ahead and show you guys. 
No, it's not a Chanel bag. It's not. I can't. <laughs> right now, I cannot afford a Chanel bag. And that's okay. So, it is the Chanel sneakers that I got myself. Um, of course, I got it myself. But some Chanel sneakers that I actually purchased for myself um, in October. In October, I purchased these. And so, I've never worn them. I got these from Nordstrom. And they are so far, so, so, so far, so far, just so far. These were, I believe they were, if not a thousand dollars, hitting a thousand dollars. So this is not my first designer shoe because you guys see, like I had um, the Alexander McQueen's and I have, you know, red bottoms, but this is actually like, designer designer so i can't wait till i get like a chanel bag y'all i cannot wait this the material is so fire material okay let's talk material so right here is suede the black is suede um the bottom is leather but this green texture is like corduroy type of suede if you guys can see i love that the Double C's are also um, like suede, like too. And um, yeah, I love that the shoe have different materials. The color scheme is to die for. Uh, I feel like you're kind of starting to make it once you can afford a pair of Chanel shoes, okay? Because um, I feel like, you know, what celebrity, what high end person, well, I said high end, what celebrity don't own a pair of Chanel sneakers? And I feel like you're on your way once you do this. So check out the bottom. These has the double C's. Then these, I can't remember because I only tried, I can't even remember when I tried them on. I think they run, maybe. Um, you know, designer shoes run real funny. They run real funny. Sometimes they'll be extra big or sometimes they'll be too small. This size I got is a 39. So um, that's probably about true to size what I would normally get. Um, cause I wear like an eight and a half in women. So, um, the shoe fits pretty good. It depends on how you like your shoe to fit. I personally don't like my shoes to fit tight. I would like the bigger, the more comfortable, but I think with these, um, they were just a slight bit tight, but the sales person said that they would stretch. Of course they're going to say that though. But like I said, I purchased these from Nordstrom. Um, you can't find them online, but like the Nordstrom in Miami, obviously it's Miami. So like they have a lot of different exclusive designer things. And so, um, I went in the store and I purchased these. So look at the shoe strings. Also have the double C right there. This is just everything. These are just everything and I cannot wait to style these. I haven't worn them yet. Oh, the back. I keep up. I gotta show you out a detail. The back says Chanel. Um, and that's about it. But I haven't worn them yet because I don't know how I want to wear them, where I want to wear them to. I just know when I wear them, I want to take a picture and then the picture just gotta give okay the picture has to give what needs to give um i like the tongue of the shoe just a regular tongue but like it's not i can't explain it's not regular um and then they have this little piece on the back i love sneakers to have that because i feel like instead of bending the shoe when i'm trying to put it on i can actually hold on to this to help slip the shoe on more so um this is a shoe that i'll wear more so out versus like going to work but um i just haven't found time to style them and haven't really had a place to wear them but we will be wearing these at some point. So besties, we at the end of this video and um, I'm interested in knowing like what do you guys think about this whole black girl luxury thing or just like well first my luxury haul. What do you guys think about the pieces that I got? Um, and what do you guys think about the black girl luxury thing? Although you know I can agree it needs to be normalized but I can also see how people feel like black girl luxury is like the hood aesthetic if that makes sense and i've read like um comments on this certain channel who somebody talked about that like black girl luxury is just like that hood aesthetic and um you know instead of it being like about luxury whatever that looks like because that looks different for all of us like when you when people talk black girl luxury luxury online or you see them post pictures of like you know designer things and going on these fancy trips and eating at these fancy restaurants which is nothing wrong with that those are the type of things I like. 
those are the things I aspire to do. I have got to do some of those things, but I don't look at that just as what black girl luxury is about. It's a mindset. It definitely starts within. And, um, you know, um, whatever lifestyle that's fitting for you, the, you know, and fitting for black girl luxury, that's what that is. It just looks different. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to have some fancy um, things. However, if you can afford it, treat yourself to it. And as you guys can see, that's what I did with all these items that I have. I treated myself to it. So um, I probably won't be buying any luxury items no time soon. No time soon. Like probably no more this year. If I got a purse, maybe a purse, I would be happy if I got a purse. But um, other than that, I dish, I can't see me buying any more luxury products this, this, this year. Um, so like I said, um, let me know in the comments below what you think about the items I got. So what's your first designer item you ever purchased? And what's your take on black girl luxury? And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.